is not different from anything. Because anything we see that is energy of Krishna. Parasya Brahmana Shakti Tathaiva Akilam Jagat. In the Vishnu Puran, it is said, all these universes are exhibitions of the energy of Krishna. Oh. Just like the fire uh, can distribute its heat and light from one place. The example is the sun, the great fire, the greatest fire within this universe. It is uh, distributing the heat and light from one place. You can see everyone. The sun glow. It is ah, lying in one corner of this universe. Although the sun glow is fourteen hundred times, fourteen hundred thousand times bigger than this earth, still you can see it is lying in one form. So this is Agni. We require heat and light. Therefore Krishna has given us the heat and light. So as you can see, the sun glow is situated in one place. Still, its heat and light is distributed throughout the whole universe. Similarly, Krishna is living in his own above, sadhāṁ. But his energies are being distributed all over. He comes in a situ jagat. <clears throat> Therefore, Krishna says that Manasanam Sahasri Sukhasti Jatati Siddhai Jatatavati Siddhyana Kasti Vetiman Tata. We do not know. How much powerful, omnipotent is Krishna? Without knowing his power, we uh, treat him as ordinary person, a very big person, a great person. No. That is our poor friend of knowledge. param bhava such persons, such murhas, they do not know what is Krishna. Therefore Krishna says, Manushanam Sāsreshu Kaschitarati Siddha. Siddha means one who is factually in knowledge of everything. He is called Siddha. And Yadatāvati Siddha. There are many jnanis, yogis, they are called siddhas. But out of many millions of such siddhas, one may or may not understand Krishna. Therefore he says, avajananti mādhumurā param bhāvavajā. So, here Sūta Goswāmi says, Munayas, Hadu Krishna, um, oh, your question is welcome. <coughs> Sadhu, when there is something very glorious, we welcome uh, by uh, saying Sadhu, Sadhu. It is very nice, very nice. Sadhu, among the learned scholars, Vedic scholars, when they approve something, uh, they say, sadhu, sadhu. Very good. So, when Krishna question was asked by the audience, <coughs> the after departure, 
of Krishna, the uh, knowledge and dharma, uh, dharma jnana. These two things are very essential things in the human society. Without dharma and without jnana, it is elementary. Jnana means to know, self-realize. What I am, that is jnana. And after jnana, there is no uh, dharma. Dharma means occupational duty. If you do not know what is your constitutional position, then how your occupational duties can be asserted? Therefore, dharma jnana dhisha. So that is jnana. When you understand that we are part and parcel of Krishna, we are eternal servants of Krishna, that is jnana. And after having this jnana in food, then our dharma, actual dharma being. So Krishna directly says, sarva dharma paritarja mamekam saranam This surrender and Krishna is a, is dharma. Other things which does not teach how to surrender to Krishna, that kind of dharma is called koito, cheating. Therefore Bhagavad says, dharma prochita koito vartha. All cheating type of religious principles are completely rejected. Cheating type. Koito vartha is very wild. And Siddhar Sahari comments on this that liberation, mokhavansha, to become one with the Supreme. That is also another type of cheating. Why it is cheating, that is explained. We have discussed all this part. Now here, Sudha Goswami says that your question about Krishna is very, very nice. It is welcome. Why it is very, very nice? Muna Sadhu Krishnaham Bhavadvi by you. Loka Mangalam. If Krishna questions and answers are discussed simply all over the world, everything will be nice, peaceful. Loka Mangalam. People are anxious for peace, tranquility all over the world, but they do not know how to establish. Oh. That secret.